from Florida is recognized for five minutes. Well, I feel like we need to start here again. There have been numerous hearings on the subject of FISA and 702. In the Crime Subcommittee, we've had two full hearings on that subject. In fact, the Judiciary Committee and its various subcommittees have hearings every single week on urgent and important substantive issues. We are here today because it is also important and significant and meaningful that when a committee of the United States Congress asks for documents or information from an agency, that we get a response. It is not nonsense when the United States Congress requests documents and that request is ignored. It is not nonsense when we conduct a hearing to get compliance with a subpoena or a document request and we are slow walked or we are stonewalled. One of our important functions here is to ensure that we are providing accountability, oversight, and transparency for the American people. That is one of the important functions that we have. And to suggest that the work of this committee is somehow unimportant or a waste of time is to absolutely miss the fundamental principle that the role of Congress is to ensure that we are providing that accountability and transparency, and that is why we were here. If we received the documents we requested immediately upon submission of the subpoena, a hearing would be unnecessary, but we haven't, and so we continue. I'm familiar with the concept of a rolling production. In fact, I'm a former judge. I'm very familiar with what happens in the context of document productions and discovery. The difference is, if we were in a courtroom, in a standard courtroom, and we requested documents and they weren't received by a deadline, you know what we would do? We would have a contempt hearing. And if, in that instance, there still wasn't compliant, there's an escalating range of sanctions that get imposed by a judge. So we are here and we work with you and we will continue to work with you in good faith in an effort to find what exists, to do so in a meaningful and reasonable way, to appreciate your compliance and to work with you when there is more that we need. But it is abjectly incorrect to insinuate that this hearing, that our purpose here today, that our continued purpose in having these hearings, if it continues to be necessary, is insignificant. What we are doing here today is the foundation of providing transparency and accountability, and we will continue to have these hearings for as long as it takes. Mr. Dunn, this committee has requested documents from the FBI related to a couple of different categories that I would like to address with you here today. One relates to pipe bombs that were placed at the RNC and the DNC headquarters in January of 2021. The second is documents related former special agent in charge Charles McGonigal uh, and the alleged politicization of the FBI. So let's begin there. On February 2nd, 2023, the committee wrote a letter to Director Ray requesting documents and information related to uh, the indictment of Mr. McGonigal, the former special agent in charge. Uh, has the FBI searched for documents responsive to this request? We provided an initial uh, response earlier this year. It was a classified response uh, providing information about uh, security steps that we took to mitigate national security concerns. As you're aware, the investigation is still ongoing to the point where Mr. McGonigal has not been sentenced yet, so there are still some of those Department of Justice uh, considerations that, that, that we're bound by, but uh, I understand that the, the committee has additional requests for information, and I'm happy to continue to provide information. Once the, uh, the issue is adjudicated, I'm happy to, to see what else we can provide as well. And explain for us, if you would, the uh, distinction in what you will be able to produce prior to adjudication and post-adjudication and why. I'll have to take that back. I'm not, I'll have to talk with the folks that are closest to this, closest to the case, and see what information we can provide. All right, please, if you would, that will be something that is a subject in a future hearing, should we reconvene on the subject. Uh, with respect to the pipe bomb investigation, what steps has the Bureau taken so far uh, to provide the committee with outstanding information that was requested in the June 14th, 2023 letter? Sure, so uh, I was disappointed that we, were, we, we offered a briefing a couple of weeks ago. We weren't able to make schedules work. 
I believe we have a briefing scheduled for December 12th, a couple weeks from now. Uh, we have provided an initial response last Congress on this that went to the, the heart of kind of what we've done so far on the, on the case as, as best we could. We provided an updated response to this Congress. This is one of those areas where I mentioned earlier we're bound by Department of Justice and executive branch uh, policies where we have considerations we have to make when things touch on ongoing investigations. The pipe bomb is very much still ongoing. We've been able to make a significant accommodation for the committee to get this briefing scheduled. Uh, I hope it satisfies a lot of your questions. I'm, 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 we'll be waiting and standing by for any questions that are not answered uh, to take those back and see how we can accommodate the committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Uh, 